Ever wondered how jet engines work? Well, you're in for a treat today as we delve into the intricacies of the two most common types of jet engines, turbojet and turbofan. These marvels of engineering have revolutionized the way we travel, making it possible to traverse vast distances in a matter of hours. They are the heart of modern aviation, powering everything from compact fighter jets to colossal commercial airliners. At the core of their operation is the Brayton cycle, a thermodynamic process that efficiently turns heat into work. Yet despite their shared principles, turbojet and turbofan engines each have distinct designs, efficiencies and applications. From the high-speed performance of turbojets to the fuel-efficient operation of turbofans, these engines cater to different needs in the aviation industry. Ready to dive into the world of turbojets and turbofans? Buckle up. Let's start with turbojet engines, the granddaddy of modern jet engines. These powerhouses operate on a principle known as the Brayton cycle, a thermodynamic process that works at constant pressure to convert heat into work. Now that's quite a mouthful, isn't it? Simply put, it's a fancy way of saying they take in air, heat it up and spit it out to make things go fast. Turbojet engines have a straightforward design with three main components. The compressor, the combustion chamber and the turbine. Picture it like a sandwich. The compressor is the first slice of bread. It takes in air and squashes it down. Next we have the filling, the combustion chamber. Here the compressed air is mixed with fuel and ignited. And finally the other slice of bread, the turbine. It takes the high pressure, high temperature gas from the combustion chamber and turns it into work which turns the compressor. The remaining hot gas is expelled out the back, creating thrust and propelling the aircraft forward. Here's the catch. Turbojet engines are like sprinters. They're brilliant at high speeds and altitudes, but not so efficient at a jog. That's why they're best suited for aircraft that require high-speed travel, like military jets. And a quick history lesson for you. The concept of the turbojet was patented way back in 1921. But it wasn't until the 1930s and 40s that the first turbojet-powered aircraft were developed and used in World War II. So while turbojet engines might seem a bit old school compared to their turbofan cousins, they were groundbreaking in their day. Turbojets, though not as efficient as their successors, played a crucial role in shaping the aviation industry. They were the stepping stone to the more advanced and efficient engines we see today. Stay tuned as we unravel the workings of these successes, the turbofan engines, in the next segment. Now let's shift gears to turbofans, the quieter and more efficient cousin of the turbojet. Turbofan engines, like their turbojet counterparts, operate on the Brayton cycle. However, their design is a tad more complex thanks to an additional component, the fan. This large fan at the front of the engine is quite a game changer. It siphons in air a significant portion of which bypasses the core, that is, the compressor, combustion chamber, and turbine. This bypass air, accelerated by the fan blades, also contributes to the thrust, giving turbofans a unique edge. But what does this bypass air mean for the efficiency of turbofan engines? Well, it's quite simple. Since this air provides additional thrust without passing through the core, turbofans are more fuel efficient. This efficiency is particularly noticeable at lower speeds and during takeoff, making turbofans a popular choice for commercial airliners. The beauty of this design doesn't stop at efficiency. The bypass air also makes turbofans quieter, a valuable attribute in our noise polluted world. This noise reduction occurs because the bypassed air acts as an insulator against the noise produced by the engine core. So, next time you're on a plane, appreciate the quieter ride offered by these engineering marvels. The widespread use of turbofans in commercial airliners demonstrates their advantages over turbojets. They're not just more fuel efficient and quieter, but they also provide a smoother ride. These engines represent the impressive evolution of jet propulsion technology. Turbofans, with their improved efficiency and quieter operation, are the engine of choice in today's aviation industry. You might be wondering, what's the difference between these two types of engines? Well, let's compare and contrast turbojet and turbofan engines to find out. First, let's talk about airflow. In a turbojet engine, all the air that enters the engine goes through the core, where it's compressed, mixed with fuel, ignited, and then expelled to produce thrust. However, in a turbofan engine, not all the air goes through the core. 
a significant portion of the air bypasses the core and is accelerated by the fan blades to produce additional thrust. This bypass air is one of the distinguishing features of turbofan engines. Next, let's consider noise. You might have noticed that some aircraft are louder than others when they fly overhead. That's often down to the type of engine they're using. Turbojet engines tend to be noisier because all the air passes through the core where combustion takes place. On the other hand, turbofan engines are generally quieter. The bypassed air in a turbofan engine acts as an insulator, dampening the noise produced by the core. Finally, let's discuss fuel efficiency. As we mentioned earlier, turbojet engines are less efficient at low speeds, but are very effective at high speeds and altitudes. This makes them well suited for high-speed aircraft like military jets. However, turbofan engines are more fuel efficient, especially at lower speeds and during takeoff. This is largely due to the bypass air, which provides additional thrust without consuming more fuel. Because of their efficiency and quieter operation, turbofan engines are the preferred choice for commercial airliners. So turbofans win the day, but both have their unique roles and contributions in aviation history. Turbojet engines have powered some of the fastest aircraft in the world, while turbofan engines have revolutionized commercial aviation, making it more efficient and environmentally friendly. Both types of engines showcase the ingenuity and innovation inherent in the field of aviation. So there you have it, the turbojet and turbofan engines demystified. To quickly recap, turbojets operate on the Brayton cycle and are less efficient at low speeds but extremely effective at high speeds and altitudes, making them ideal for high-speed travel like military jets. Turbofans, on the other hand, also operate on the Brayton cycle but have an additional component, the fan. This fan allows a significant portion of air to bypass the engine core, making them more fuel efficient, particularly at lower speeds and during takeoff, hence their popularity in commercial aviation. One key difference to remember is that turbofans are quieter than turbojets, as the bypassed air acts as an insulator against the engine core noise. These engines are evidence of jet propulsion technology's evolution, with turbofans representing the modern, efficient iteration widely embraced in today's aviation industry. Remember, next time you're soaring through the skies, it's thanks to these marvels of engineering. Enjoyed learning about jet engines today? Well, we certainly hope so. There's always something fascinating to discover when you delve into the world of aviation technology, from the roaring turbojets of yesteryears to the whisper-quiet turbofans of modern commercial airliners. The evolution of jet engines is a testament to human ingenuity and our relentless pursuit of progress. And guess what? This is just the tip of the iceberg. Our channel is brimming with all sorts of captivating content. Here you can unravel the mysteries of the universe, explore the depths of the oceans, and journey through the annals of history. All you have to do is click on that subscribe button and join us on this thrilling voyage of discovery. But subscribing is not all. To ensure you don't miss out on any of our latest videos, go ahead and click on the bell icon. That way you'll be notified every time we upload new content. Imagine all the fascinating facts and intriguing insights you'll gain right at your fingertips. And don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video useful. It's a small gesture, but it goes a long way in helping us create more of the content you love. Plus, it tells us that we're on the right track, providing valuable and engaging content for our viewers. Sharing is caring, as they say. So, if you know someone who's as passionate about learning as you are, why not share this video with them? Who knows, you might spark a new interest or fuel an existing passion. After all, knowledge is best enjoyed when shared. So there you have it. Subscribe, hit the bell icon, like and share. Four simple actions that make a world of difference to us and hopefully to you as well. Thank you for joining us on this high-flying journey into the world of jet engines. Stay curious and keep exploring.